Okay. That's fine. Okay, I'm gonna do a, a thing. I've never, I've not actually tasted it yet. So. I've never had guava duck before, so I have no frame of reference. But you know what this tastes like? I'm gonna say a polite, no, a cleaner version, because my fingers aren't sticky, of crab fat and dough. It feels like, that's exactly what it tastes like. It tastes like crab fat and dough, but without, because I can eat it with a fork. And even if I eat this with my hands, it's less messy. It feels like if somebody who loved me made crab fat and dough, and he didn't want me to be inconvenienced with having to bite and break things open. How about? I'm gonna eat into the mic. People like this apparently. Because people are say this. If somebody had never had crab fat and dough, this would be the perfect introduction for them. I almost wish it was spicier, which of course is weird because I don't think crab fat and dough is spicy. Right. And then you know what else? It's also cleaner. It's like a clean, it's all the flavor without that weird, gamey taste to it. It's like, cause there's a, a very gamey taste when you boil a crab and you just dip in it in the fat. Like this is all the flavor and none of that questioning if that's actually fat I'm eating. everyone, I'm Bodine Victoria. Welcome to my kitchen and this is my pot. <laughs> now it's crab month here on Bodine Pot and that means that I am going to be equipping you with all of the skills, all of the information and all of the recipes to take advantage of the height of crab season coming in July. So June is when you get to the starting line and I show you exactly how to train yourself to take advantage of all the crab that could be walking during the month of July. You can't say I never do nothing for you. Last year, I showed y'all how to make crab and bao. This year, I showed y'all how to make close to traditional crab and dough. And today, I can show y'all how to make my crab and duff. Now, let me just say, this recipe and how I execute it is all mine. However, the inspiration comes from the Seafoam Duff Food Truck. Now, that's owned by the Lockhart's, who happen to be cousins of mine. And I can tell you, the way that they make their fluffy dough is something that I have never seen and I appreciate one Bahamian, one Maycock, one Nixon to another. So in the interest of fresh crab, fresh herbs from my friend Colleen, and then also fresh new takes on traditional Bahamian recipes, this is my crab and duff recipe. Now finding pick crab meat sometimes can be very, very difficult here in Nassau because it takes a very long time to do it and it can be expensive. My thing is when you go to the crab vendors, what you don't do is you don't leave your crab legs. And if you wanna see how I break the crab down, I have a video for that and how I pick the crab legs for all of the meat. I also have a video for that here or you could check the description box. Now let me show you what I do with that crab meat.
Now, let me show y'all how I make my brown butter lemon sage yogurt sauce. Now, why I say yogurt, I do have a little bit of half and half inside here, but me personally, I didn't want to use so much milk. The yogurt is a very creamy alternative. And unfortunately, halfway through, the phone overheated that I was recording with, and so some of the footage is lost. Now, the truth of the matter is you can make any kind of duff you want to, you know. Duff really just refers to the way that you make the dough for whatever it is. So you're going to create it with whatever spices and seasonings. You can have a savory duff and you can have a sweet duff. I chose to go more along the lines of sweet and savory in between there to balance out the crab. But also, the thing that makes duff duff is you being able to steam it. Okay, and you're using baking powder as opposed to using yeast and you're steaming that and you're allowing it to just fluff up. Now, some people old school duff is a little bit dumb, but that's because they allow it to steam for a little bit longer and it has a higher fat content. If you want a fluffier duff, what you're gonna do is you're gonna add a little bit more baking powder and a little less of the oil. But I really, really wanted the coconut flavor to come straight through and that's why I chose this method. It.
ask and you shall receive. I've been nagging and nagging and nagging for me. Hi, I'm a professional taster. Mmm, that looks so good. Wow, please open a restaurant and look how the Lord has blessed me. Oops. Take two. Look how the Lord has blessed me. We have from Bodine's pot crab and dough with a twist. Like there's some gourmet crab and dough. So we have the stuffed crab on the side here. And then we have what looks like she did the crab and dough in a roll or a duff. We got to taste this and I'm so excited because I need all day. That's right. Okay, and then we have a lemon butter um, herb garlic sauce. Ready tasted this. This tastes dead, dead good. Anyway, I don't really even know how to eat this because it's like, do I like, you know, pick it up or use a fork and knife? I'm gonna use a fork and knife. Oh, it smells good. Lord have mercy. Right off the bat, flavor, flavor. It does taste good. You notice that I'm not talking because who talks when they eating good food? I like this. You get the perfect portion of dough and crab. Like perfect, perfect portion. Give it a little sauce here. Mm. Mm -hmm. I know what you put in the sauce, but you need to make this a signature sauce or something because this hit it. I can't begin to tell you how much I enjoy making these recipes and sharing them with you. This dish with the creaminess of the lemon butter sage sauce, as well as the savoriness of the way that I prepared the crab and the coconutty sweetness of the dough is a party in your mouth. It's also a crab and dough treat that you can eat anywhere at any time you can serve this but let me just let y'all know it ain't gonna be cheap because these are quality ingredients made with love if you enjoyed today's recipe please don't forget to leave me a comment in the comment section and hit the like button also if you want to know each and every time i upload hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell somewhere on your screen and don't forget to share this recipe with your friends and family and if you want to see pretty pictures of all the food that i cook and the occasional recipe card, you can go over to my Instagram page. It's at Bodine Pod Show. Or if you're a Facebook lover, it's Bodine Pod Show on Facebook. And you can go through all of my albums so you can see all the food that I prepare. And reach out, DM, leave me a comment. And if you try something, tag me, let me know. I have so many things waiting here for you. And I want you to please enjoy the rest of your day. And don't forget, when you serve in top notch, high quality, delicious, juicy, herby, well-fed, well-kept, and absolutely fabulous crab. Don't let any and everybody dig up in your pot. I said what I said. It is made like a loaf. <laughs> no, as I eat the final bite, I realize I probably should ask you if you wanted to try it. My fault. Just like on T-shirt.